for you, did you struggle with your sphere of influence around your how they viewed you and your identity of what you were doing? Meaning, I see people struggle with getting their sphere or the people around them to understand I'm no longer that person that did X. I am now this person that is a real estate agent. Did you have any struggles with that? And if so, what were they? If if not, how did you um, help position yourself as the go to real estate expert instead of Beth, you know, that does pharmaceutical sales? Uh, it, it did take some time. And I was, as I shared, met with a lot of resistance from friends and family. I also had lost a lot of my sphere because I had lived out of state for five years. And Facebook, you know, social media wasn't as prevalent then. Um, I don't even think I got on Facebook until it was out for years. I was very resistant. And I found that most of my business when I first was pursuing the real estate career again, came from people I didn't know. Um, with the exception of my brother, who you know I've always been close with and has always had me on a little bit of a pedestal. Um, he was one of my first buyers. However, most of my business came from somebody that didn't already know me. And I think that's oftentimes the case because the people in our world do have a perception of us. And even though the people in my world knew that historically I had been successful in the things that I tried. They also knew that real estate was one of those things that I had tried previously and struggled with. Um, they also remember all the stupid stuff that you've done as a kid. And, you know, so there's so much there yeah. that it can be hard for them to separate the two. And, and it was a little bit hurtful at first. Or I was like, what do you mean you wouldn't pick me? Um, but I used it to fuel me and I was like, well, I'm going to show you. And then I started to have success and I started to share that success. Um, and social media became a thing. Um, I was actually one of the first in my market to create a team with a brand. Like I had a marketing person on staff. And when I was doing this in the 2009, 2010, that really wasn't a thing in Buffalo. So I learned how to leverage and that kind of one to many audience where next thing I knew, people were like, wow, I see you everywhere. And maybe they did or maybe they, but that was their perception. Yeah. I didn't even ask when, when did you get licensed in Buffalo? I got licensed in Buffalo. Um, I signed my, my paperwork 9909. So another reason there was a lot of resistance because I was getting licensed end of 2008, yeah. beginning of 2009 when the market was not very good. And everyone's like, are you crazy? And maybe I was. Uh, however, my mentality was, if I can make it work when the market's not great, then I'll have longevity. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this to be my career.